Hey YouTube, it's Predestined 4. How are y'all doing today? It's a beautiful Sunday. I'm here yet again to do my weekly, yes, I'm doing it every Sunday, my weekly inspirational talk, encouragement, okay, for the week ahead. So today I just want to talk about being grateful. Okay, now I'm going to share one of my experiences with you where God had to really put me in my place, like kind of check my spirit a little bit. So yes, earlier this week, um, as usual, every morning I pray around five or if not, I'll pray when I'm on the highway going to work. So I was doing my usual routine and I was in prayer and you ever been praying and you feel like as though you're kind of barking demands at God, like, God, I need you to do this, and I need you to come through. I need a breakthrough. Why is this happening? Where are you feeling like, okay, you're complaining through a prayer? I was doing something like that, okay? So praying, and I had to catch myself. Like the Holy Spirit said to me, you are barking all these demands, and you're crying and asking God to do all these things tangibly, right? But God has done so much for you that you're missing the things that are happening right in front of you sometimes. It may be small and you miss the small things because you're looking for the greater things. So that was my lesson and I broke down. Like <laughs> literally behind the steering wheel like boo hoo crying. Yes, I had one of those experiences because a lot of times we forget to be grateful about small things. We forget to look at our lives and be grateful for what's already happening, you know? Even though we may not see it, something is happening. Something sim simple, something is not simple, but something as waking up in the morning, being able to use the activity of your limbs, being able to, to use your senses, being able to speak. A lot of people don't even get the opportunity to get up another day. So just that in itself is a privilege for us to be here. And I had to really catch myself. I'm like, Lord, what am I doing? What am I doing? Because it was just one of those weeks where I was just like, mentally, it was a struggle for me. And I, I keep wanting God to move. Like, God, what's going on? I feel like I'm doing everything you require of me, but sometimes we feel like we're doing what's required, but there's so much more that God wants us to do on a greater level, on a greater scale. So I don't remember what song came on. I think it was a song called um, I'll Trust You by um, James Fortune, if I'm not mistaken. That song came on and it brought me right back to reality, right back. Because I'm, I'm, I started thinking, I'm like, I'm barking all these demands, I'm crying, I'm being dramatic, and I'm sitting in this vehicle driving to my job. I don't have to have a job, God bless me with a job. It's a privilege for me to be here to see another day, but I'm crying about something because God is not moving at my pace. You get what I'm saying? So I, I needed that reality check. So I'm here to share that testimony with you that Sometimes you may feel like God's not moving. You get impatient with God. You get impatient with the life. You get impatient with what's going on around you, your circumstance, things that are happening that you need to change right now and you feel like it's not changing, but then you're missing. Don't allow your circumstance to, uh, to make you miss the blessing, okay? That's the moral of my story that I'm trying to share with you. Don't allow what's going on around you to cause you to miss what's happening, to miss the blessing, to see the bigger picture, to see things on a greater scale. And remember, God is not moving on your timing, okay? It's gonna happen. He's gonna do it for you when you least expect it. Sometimes we pray about things for months, for days, for weeks. We go on fasting, we cry, we talk to people about it, we vent, we scream, we get all dramatic and, the, you know, do the theatrics. Like, no, just relax, pray about it, relax, and leave it in God's hands. Go to sleep. Like, we stay up and we worry about these things that if we're praying about it, 
and asking God to do it. If you already prayed, why are you not believing that he's going to do it? So that's another thing. Why pray about something that you don't believe is going to happen, okay? So if you're praying about it, you got to attach that faith to it to activate that faith and believe that your God will come through for you because he has done it before, okay? I'm sure he has done something. If you can think back, I'm sure you'll find at least one thing that he has done or came through for you before. So why not believe him to come through again? So be grateful, activate your faith, and leave it in God's hands and believe, okay? Be grateful, guys, okay? That's what I wanted to come on and say. Always remember to be grateful. Look at the bigger picture. Look at the blessings. Be thankful for your blessings. Be grateful, be appreciative, because it's not by chance that these things are happening. These things are happening because it's meant to happen. This is your journey. This is your walk. God is going to do it for you if you just believe, okay? Have a blessed Sunday. Have a blessed week. Yes, so I'm going to go and continue to keep this positive energy like I'm doing. Keep a smile on your face. Make somebody smile. It's not always about you. Make somebody feel good. You may think you're going through something, but if you speak to somebody, your situation is just barely, barely scratching the surface, okay? So be grateful, guys, all right? Talk to y'all soon. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. I got my locks back. Let's, let me talk about this. I've been feeling... <laughs> I've been so wanting my locks back. I literally just finished my hair like two hours ago. Yes, I do my hair myself. And I just finished it and I'm about to probably head out, you know, for the rest of the evening, go enjoy myself or something. So yes, did my locks again. It's nice and hot outside and I want to look cute. And um, I'll talk to you guys soon. Be blessed. Have a great week. Be positive, think positive, watch you. I'm sorry guys, my thing got cut off right at the end, but what I was saying is positive vibes, positive vibrations, positive energy. If you want positivity, you gotta exude positivity. So continue to be a blessing, continue to live grateful, and always remember to put God first in everything that you do, and look at things from a broader scale. Don't get discouraged. Don't allow your situation to cause you to miss the revelation. There's a revelation in everything. Don't miss it. Don't miss the revelation. Be grateful, okay? All right, so I'm going to go for real this time. And I will talk to you guys soon. Enjoy your week. Be a blessing to somebody. And have a blessed week, okay, guys? Talk to you all soon. Until next week, Sunday. Yes, I'm going to try to do a video every Sunday because... During the week is just not good for me. So either Sunday or Saturdays, expect me to drop a video, okay? Talk to y'all soon. Bye.